Hi, I'm Tyler Sky, and you're watching the Permanent Rain Press. So how are you doing today? Um, I'm good. It's pouring rain out, but just another day in Vancouver, so how about you? Um, I'm doing okay, yeah. What do you expect from Vancouver weather, right? <laughs> so can you start by telling us a bit more about yourself? Um, well, I grew up like way up north in BC. Um, it's called Houston, and lots of people, when I when they ask me where I'm from, I say Houston, and they all think I'm American. Houston, BC. It's by Prince George, if you know where that is. It's way up north. Um, then I moved to Vernon when I was 15, and that's where I started my music. But I didn't start actually recording until I was in grade 12. But I was like writing all throughout high school, and I just never actually got to recording until I was like 18. And then I moved here, like right after I graduated, to try and do music more and go to school for music and stuff. But I'm not going to school for music anymore, I'm just doing music now. So what made you decide to start pursuing music more professionally? Um, I think it was, it was definitely in grade 12 when I started like writing more and actually recording. I'm going to be honest, I was not very good in grade 12. Um, but like I just loved it so much that I just didn't want to only do it for fun. Or like I just wanted to actually have people hear what I was trying to say or like I don't know it's just something I just love so much I just didn't want to just do it on the side so. Did you play a few gigs in like Houston before you decided you wanted to you know start recording more music? Um well in Houston I moved from before I when I moved from Houston I wasn't actually recording yet or anything I did a couple things in Vernon like in grade 12 there was a talent show and me and my friend, we had a song and we performed that. That was pretty cool. That was the first time ever performing. Uh, Vernon uh, W.L. Seaton, that was there. And then I did this thing. There was, there was like this kind of outside gathering kind of party thing. Me and the same friend, we, were, we performed a song there. And then there was this thing on Main Street in Vernon. It was uh, like a benefit kind of thing that they do every year. And me and a different friend, She's a girl, she was a singer, and I was just like featured on it. And I did my part for that song too. So I kind of did a few things. I haven't actually even done anything in Vancouver yet, because I just turned 19, so it was, I was kind of waiting to do more in like clubs and stuff like that, so. Um, speaking of your music, you recently released your 17 track album, Into the Night. What was the writing process like? It, um, it wasn't really a planned project, it was like, I started it back in February, like, writing, I was just kind of just doing songs while I was working on the Journey EP, and I was kind of just doing other songs on the side and not releasing them. And then I decided I wanted to work on an album, like, August, but I had, like, probably 12 songs that I hadn't released yet, so I, like, listened to them, and then I picked about eight of them and put them, like, as a new project that I was going to work on. And I was planning on releasing the album like January or something. But as it went on, I decided I wanted to take more time on the album and make it better because the other ones were kind of older songs. So I wanted to make it better. So I just did a couple more mixtape songs, made it into a mixtape and released that kind of to hold it down since until the album comes out next year, probably April or May next year. Do you have a favorite song off the album or are they all equally as important and um, personal to you? They're all equally, but there's something about No Escape that, I don't know, when I, when I wrote it, it was just like, it just came truly like right from my heart. Every song does, but that one, I don't know what it is about it. There's something about it that I'm just like really proud of that song. Um, yeah, it was inspired by, I know a few people who have friends that have committed suicide, so especially my friend that's here with me today. He lost a friend to it. Um, just stuff like that, I, I just felt like I should talk, like speak upon it and kind of just shed light on, I guess, the situations and try and help people that maybe are feeling that way, try and pick them up, I guess. So what is the message behind Sky Life? 
It's basically like, it started in Vernon, me and my friend, uh, we were at a campfire, he was moving away, and we had this movement, this kind of message that we were trying to get out there and trying to speak, but we didn't really have a name for it. And basically it's like, you know, I, I say point up, right? Like, no matter where you're at, you can always improve, you can always do better, you can always aim higher. It just means like, it was, I originally made it to inspire myself to chase my dreams, to like point up no matter where I am, no matter how I'm feeling, if I feel like I'm not going to make it, if I feel like I'm down or whatever, just point up like it'll get better. So Skylab, like you're pointing up at the sky kind of thing, like the sky is the limit you could, I guess, say. And we kind of, we came up with it there and it just stuck. And I'm glad. Shouts to Tyler Smith for that. So you also co-founded the record label Cloudbound Entertainment. How important is it for you to be exposed to all different aspects of the music industry? Um, yeah, actually that, we, me and my one friend, again, different friend, but it actually started, I did a EP called Cloudbound and it kind of fits in, I guess, with Skylife and Point Up. So I originally did that and I never even thought that it was going to be anything, anything more at the time. And it, uh, I kind of, it just hit me one day out of nowhere and I was like, okay, well, I have this one friend, he's um, like a producer slash DJ, his name is Tiger Levu, and then I have another friend named Cracker Black that I grew up with and we're all like diverse artists and I wanted to get them on it basically because I know that they have to share the same views as I do and I guess the importance of it would be you have to kind of see diversity in artists in the music industry and because obviously not everybody's the same everybody's different and you have to kind of there's like a business side to it it's not just you record a song post it up on Facebook and you can pay rent like that's not how it is you have to there's like lots of marketing there's lots of rights there's lots of ownerships there's lots of copyrights everything like that that has to go into it and I mean I don't obviously know all of it yet but I'm working on it I'm trying to learn it better and I have my manager who's helping me out, Sean Warren, shouts to him. He's helping me out a lot with everything like that. Um, it is very important to know the business side of the music industry if you want to be an artist. You cannot do it by just posting songs up and expecting to pay rent. There's no way. What do you hope to accomplish within the next year? Um, well, I guess um, the main thing, I really want to perform at Center of Gravity in Kelowna next summer. That's probably my biggest goal right now. Also, there's a couple artists that I really want to work with by the end of next year. Um, one of them being Sunrio from Vancouver. I'm actually wearing his clothes right now. We go. He had a concert last night. My voice is a little bit rough right now from it. Um, check him out if you haven't heard of him yet. Also, there's... I really want to start doing more shows in Vancouver. Try and get my name out there more in Vancouver and promote a bit. Um, other than those three things, for like the next year. I'm kind of trying to pace myself and do one after the other so I don't get ahead of myself. But definitely just trying to expand and trying to reach more people than I feel like I already have with my music. Because it all comes from the heart and I know that's kind of what people, people want to hear the radio stuff but then there's days when they actually want to hear that. The real like stuff from the heart and that's kind of what I try and give them, so. Okay, so now for some less serious questions. All right. What's one important thing that you think your fans should know about you? Um, I guess just know, like, obviously I'm not that big right now, but let, just like, if you see me or something, or you see me on Twitter, or Facebook, whatever, feel free to just, like, hit me up. I'm not going to ignore you. I'm not one of those people that's just going to shun you because I'm an artist and, like, I'm just a normal person just like you. I'm just trying to speak to you trying to help you, trying to give you something to listen to, trying to be that voice. Also, I guess you should know, fun fact, um, I've had four open heart surgeries. I was born with pulmonary artresia and tetralogy of Fallot. It's a long thing to explain, just Google it. Um, if you don't know how to spell it, tweet me and I'll tell you how to spell it. At It's Tyler Sky. Um, also, yeah, I guess I'm really, I try to be really down to earth mostly, just talk to everybody that tries to talk to me. I don't really like ignoring people. I feel like there's no point really. Like they, they're showing me love, I'm gonna show it back. That's probably the best thing there. If you could be any ice cream flavor, which would you be and why? Dang. Um, I even thought about this one too and I can't. 
What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla. Vanilla? <laughs> I'm gonna say I like cotton candy. It's colorful, as I guess you could say. Um, it's yeah, colorful. So it's it could have some sense of personality to it. I'm not just like a regular person. I feel I feel like I actually have a personality that is different, obviously, than everybody else. So I, I guess I would pick that. Plus, it's delicious. It's sweet too. Would you call yourself a sweet person? Um, I try to be. I, <laughs> I mean, I am. Unless you give me a reason not to be, then I'm, then I'm not. I guess. But I try to be, as much as I can. Is there anything else you'd like to say to your fans where people can check out your music? Um, yeah. You guys can go. I got tylersky.bandcamp.com. Just put out Into the Night. It's on there as well as a bunch of other singles. You can check out on YouTube. I still use the same YouTube I started on, dhead000. That's I I like it for the sentimental value. It doesn't mean dickhead, by the way. Devonhead is my real name, so don't even don't make jokes. Um, and Twitter at it's Tyler Sky, Instagram at it's Tyler Sky, Facebook you can search up it, Tyler Sky or just type Facebook.com/slash it's Tyler Sky. Um, I guess last thing I would like to say is just keep doing what you guys do for me I really appreciate it like it means the world um, I love you all from the bottom of my heart it does mean a lot to me and yeah point up so that's about it thanks again for doing the interview no problem. No problem. don't forget to check out Tyler Sky's latest album into the night and his Bandcamp, Facebook Twitter accounts which we will all list below and check out the permanent rain press for more entertainment and music news do it take it